What's up guys? Today, I gotta go fix my headliner. My headliner has been bad for the past year and like six months. Um, It's been hanging and I've been trying to spray it with this spray if I can find it here. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so I got this spray here. Um, Thankfully, it's still full, but uh, we need this. But uh, right now, what I'm gonna do is completely remove the headliner. The, the car's in the uh, upstairs in the carport because we don't want to do it down here because there's the rain last night and there's ton of mud down here so i don't know i want to get my car stuck right now and i gotta go wash it actually today as well so i gotta bring the pressure washer up i know i need a screwdriver I'll take this um and then once i come back i'm gonna check what it really really needs actually let me check maybe he dried up and maybe we could bring it down here oh my god nope no sir oh my god yeah no i would get stuck asap and i come through here and it's super muddy right here we'll just leave it up here and look guys look at the fit man it looks crazy. Look at this other side. It looks better over here. Beautiful fit, man. Jesus. Look at that. Jeez. I'm not really going to show you a DWR, DUR right now. A DYI right now. I'm just going to do it myself. Here is where you pull the little tabs. If I had fingernails, I would be able to do it, but I don't. So I'm going to have to grab something for that. But you right here, this is what I'm talking about. I thought these were screwdrivers, but they're not. Even though it has to make it super annoying. But you got to remove all these little handles. All of them. All four of them. And then you can see how it's sagging. And then you got to do the second one. The same one is over here, but the second one back there, and we'll move it. And you see all that? I gotta vacuum all the orange stuff that's inside out. <laughs> I'll take it all out because that's what makes the glue fail. Because the glue attaches to the foam instead, and then the foam falls off, and then then the roof falls off again. So I'm gonna clean that up, and hopefully it's not a mess up in there. And guys, remember, do not when you get when you get the glue, do not spray the headliner itself. Spray the back, the 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 cardboard piece that's on here. But as you can see, I gotta do it from all the way over here. Even maybe here just a little bit, but I ain't gonna be that big of a deal, especially once I take it off. You see right here, gotta do it all over the place. But these tend to fail all the time. It's not really a user issue; it's just mostly the car. They do that, and also the the headliner. But thankfully, my headliner is good. But while this is off, I'm gonna check this as well. different day this is like a week after um i'm just gonna show you all the obviously i didn't even freaking do the stock um black um i, I tell my brother to go buy me some material you know, as you can see it's it looks it looks like alcantara looks like a stupid thing i don't but it's not it's actually a velvet um um but it's real nice it feels so good in the hands and that's the only thing they had over there at the material store so we did this instead um as you can see there's little imperfections like right here um like right here is just this um the glue didn't sit right so all i gotta do open this up pop this out again which i might do right now actually and just uh and then just um and then just glue it um, back on up here and just pop it off glue it back on and then flat air everything out again it's literally that just that um everything else came out nice and, and since it's black it looks super nice with everything so i'm good i'm happy with that sorry i didn't show you it was a long process it took us about like three four hours so um but just done as you can see it's beautiful it looks nice especially in the dark it looks it looks like super dark before you could actually see it kind of with this you could barely see the roof but now with this it's like completely gone it's like completely black but right now what I'm going to go do is go to the gas station, pump gas, uh, take some of the trash out, clean up a little bit, and we'll see what we get into next. As you can see, I don't know if y'all know what this is. This is the XHP um, tune that I'm going to be doing. I just want to give you a quick, because I know some people are not really sure um, how to install this or how to do it. So first, you go to the Play Store, you your XHP Flash Tool, you download the app, you open it. There's a quick uh, run through. You open it and then it says connect to car. Once you connect to the car, it's going to make you sign up with an email and everything. And then once you do an email, you got to go to Google, search up XHP transmission flash. At first, this is a big, big um, thing that I didn't understand at first. Um, at first, I thought you could just get the flash license and you can tune your thing just like that. But And I thought the map package, because there's two, so there's two of them. There is the map package right here, as you can see, and there's also the uh, the the flash license. So the flash license and map pack. And I thought you could just buy the flash license and choose only one um, one uh, map, but 
And I thought the map pack was so you can choose either one, two, or three. At first, I bought the flash license, which I thought was going to be a good deal. It was like 180 something. But then I want to go to my car and it didn't work. It told me you're missing a pack. Um, so I was missing the um, the package. So I had to buy them both separately. It's a ZF6 speed. There's the ZF8 speeds and then there's it for the, um, the new uh, BMWs. And there's the 7 speed DCTs. Uh, which comes for like the 2013 and up um, BMWs with uh, 335i's and stuff like that and 340's but um yeah so um it was really confusing I got actually extremely disappointed because I thought it was gonna be uh it, they barely tell you they actually do tell you but you just have to pay attention I really wasn't paying attention but um I, MHD does the same thing so I should have known but, but anyways but once you do that um you just get this you connect to your car right here I'm obviously not connected. You choose your transmission type. Obviously, you get the six speed. You choose yours if it's a seven speed DCT or eight speed. And if you don't know, just put up your VIN and, and put, your, put your VIN inside this uh, app. It'll tell you which to do. So you see, it'll give you check marks right here. At first, when I bought the flash license, they had a check mark and no check mark here. And I thought I could just flash license, and there it goes, and everything's good. But And you also need a DCAN cable or a Thor Wi Fi adapter or an MHD Wi Fi adapter. Uh, either one of those you can't use a universal one. Or, I don't think so I mean, so to check to see if what's your car what which one's your car you download the app and then you go right here to the left support check and you can check by connecting to a decan cable or a Wi-Fi adapter or you can check in by putting your last um, four four digits of your of your car uh, we're gonna find this and it says this type code of the fourth to seventh digit of your VIN or you could just choose them all, your generation, your year, your model, and everything. They'll tell you, but but then it won't be as accurate. You're going to have to choose out of like six, seven. But um, So what I did was just connect it, and it checked for me automatically, and that's where I got this one from, my, uh, my tune. So let's go ahead and go tune it and see if we feel any difference. Reason. Guys, the pollen season has came. It has came pretty hard. This rain is like clearing everything out, thankfully. So, but this cold, man, it's not going away. But right now, what I'm gonna do is, it's raining outside, so I'm not gonna push it. Obviously, I'm gonna go like maybe a quarter throttle. Um, and just show you the shifts in D mode, uh, sport mode, and then manual mode. And then uh, once I tune it, I'm gonna do it again. But obviously, I won't be able to push it. Because it tells you uh, you need to, you need to let the car's transmission adapt uh, adapt to the new tune. So after 50 miles, that's when you start pushing it. I already got my decan cable here. If y'all want this, I'm gonna leave this link link in the description below. Um, I got a Samsung, so my Samsung's connected to. I'll put these in the description too for your iPhone or for Samsung. I'll put your Samsung and iPhone down down in the description below as well. With this tune, you're gonna lose a little bit of comfort. The shifts are gonna be really um, aggressive, really um, uh, bouncy and stuff. Uh, really, they they're gonna pull hard, but. Uh, so yeah guys let's let's show you the let's show you a little bit. And you see very smooth. Very, very smooth. It's still freaking wet, so I'm not gonna push that at all. Let me put it in sport mode. Whoa. Fuck I'm sliding. Alright, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of pull. This is stock, remember guys, this is stock. Second to third. Quarter throttle. And then the downshifts. Let's see the let's see my fingers compared to the thing. So a little bit of delay. And a throttle up. Hopefully they're much quicker and much snappier. So let's go get uh, go around, go back home, guys. Um, I showed y'all a little bit of snippet, but let's go home before it gets too dark because then uh, it's gonna be tough to, to show y'all. And after we do the uh, the tune, we're gonna go back again. Obviously, not push it. Just wait for the 50. One because it's raining, and two because it's uh, uh we gotta wait for the 50 miles to go over, like the break-in period. And then uh, and then after once it gets sunnier, much better weather. Uh, then we'll push it and see if it's faster. Maybe do a zero to sixty. Maybe if I have time. If not, I'll do a second video on the zero to sixty um, and stuff like that on M55. If y'all have done this, if y'all have put your MHD tunes on, uh, it's exactly the same process. You turn the car on without pushing the brake. 
put in accessory mode to where you see the little gauges on the bottom move to the little spots turn off everything turn off your radio turn off the ac turn off your lights um and so there now we're going to connect it to our phone and uh let me show you real quick connect it we're gonna go to six speed once we do that it's gonna start loading everything and then you go down here press this it says settings on the bottom diagnostics on the second and then flash up top before you flash, there's little settings you can do, just like on MHD. There's uh, like MHD, there's verbal settings, you know, uh, cooling targets and stuff like that. On this one, it shows you drag race mode. Guys, don't do this. Don't do drag race mode. I highly don't recommend do drag race mode. That's if you want 100% attack, like with nothing, like no power, uh, no torque drop or nothing. But uh, so right now, custom loss control, I just left it at 451 newton meters because it tells you right here and then the override brake boost pre protection i don't really know what that is i'm not really going to mess with them just leave it the way it is so right here uh these are shift maps so these you got your drive you got your sport and then you got your uh manual mode your full-on manual mode with the paddles and everything in d mode if you want it very relaxed which i'm gonna do relax plus obviously in drive is like comfort mode obviously we don't have the little switches on like the new f series or g series got the little buttons so i'm gonna do that relax plus on on drive just normal drive sport mode i'm gonna go to sport sportive plus the most those are the craziest obviously uh manual mode is full attack obviously as well as sport i'm not gonna mess with none of this uh, what i am gonna mess with is the throttle blips i'm gonna leave that on i'm gonna leave it stock 50 all the way halfway the way it is uh, if i need to turn it up i will uh turning it up just makes it more aggressive the the throttle blips shift speeds on m mode i max this out because i want the manual mode to be as fast and as crisp as possible um gear display it will show you right there where the p's at once you put it in drive it will show you uh like in if you're in manual mode it'll tell you m1 for first gear m2 for second gear but for this it'll show you drive uh actually you know what let me remove that because i do not want nothing to show up when it's in drive valet mode is really cool valet mode like obviously you give it to someone you give it to your brother you give it to your little brothers anybody or give it to a valet if you don't want them to hoon around in this thing you just put valet mode on and it'll, and it will uh, limit the rpm to 25 to 3000 rpm which is real real nice connect your battery to a battery tender uh me uh, my battery is like brand new so i'm not really worried about it so let's go ahead and flash this hopefully i'm praying to god nothing happens but it is what it is so stage three let's flash it do you want to apply custom flash settings yes which is and then we go to the recent one version 3.1 and here's where we wait so we'll see how long this takes hopefully nobody comes and messes with me and tries to open my door and fry my ecu or something so it's doing its thing finishing up i just heard another click from the transmission it was two in total i think turn your ignition off to continue turn it off completely continue Please turn your ignition on again to continue. Okay, so remember, don't push the brake. One, two, oh shoot. Tripping, boom. Continue, tripping. Clearing fault codes. Exactly the same as MHD. Very, very similar. Boom. Success, we finished. Show summer, what does this mean? It took us nine minutes and I think we're good to go. So, let me go ahead and Okay, started her up. Let's go for a drive, guys. Let's do this real quick. Let's clear the odometer on the right side right here. Let's clear it with this little button. And let's, once we get to 50 miles, that means we can go ahead and uh, push it. So right now we're reading zero. Shoot, I did get the D1 and D, the D thing. That thing I didn't really want to put. Whoa, 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 whoa. It shifted way earlier. It feels kind of normal. It doesn't feel too, uh, I think it's all in my head. Let me turn on the wiper, Jesus. I need new wipers, I think, even though I, had, I got them like two months ago. Okay, so yeah, it seems very, very normal on drive. Let's go away. Let's go around a little bit. Ooh, that was a sheriff right there. Ooh, ooh. Not too good. Drive. Normal driving. It feels absolutely normal, which is awesome. I did not want it to feel any different. What are you doing? His trunk open. <laughs> His trunk popped. Hit, him, hit that shit so hard, I bet it slammed on the way down. And you're just, what the fuck? Okay, let me put it in sport mode. I'm not gonna, obviously. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? 
All right, let's downshift real fast. Oh, that's a sheriff right there. Oh, go ahead and downshift for the blips. Whoa, what the fuck? The blip feels crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, the ships are crazy. I'm not even pushing it. Yeah, there goes the check. Oh my god, the, I don't know the half thing. Obviously, it doesn't do anything. I still get power. And under 2,500 RPM, it doesn't feel a big difference. Uh, the blips are crazy though, watch. What the fuck? One more throttle. Whoa. Okay, what the? <laughs> you can feel the, the, the transmission just a boom, hit you in the back. Jesus. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, I would say around 50%, 55%, way different feeling. Um, the blips, I'm, I'm gonna turn them up to max as well. And then it drives smooth as butter. Look at that, God. Like nothing. So this used to be my old school, guys, like Southern. Ghetto, ghetto, Southern, man. I remember this way to school all the time. The bus used to go through here. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the exhaust flap. I open it up and it's already closed. Once I open the app, it already it automatically engages. But yeah, and then we used to pull in through here. After like after sophomore year, I started I stopped taking the bus regular. Me and my me and my bro, uh, me and my homeboy uh, took uh, his car, his uncle's car. Sometimes I took my dad's truck. It's cool. Sometimes. I'm, anyways, now that it's on, t uh, on operating temperatures, let's go ahead and do it again. Let's see how sport mode feels. What the f the blip, the throttle. Blips are kind of crazy, but let me feel. Let me let me just give a little bit of gas. Shift, God. Oh my God, dude, it's like <laughs> um before, guys. Okay, that's weird because before in sport mode, you can man, you could go all the way to a complete stop still on the standstill. When you really slow down. It never used to bounce. Oh shit! It never used to bounce the RPM. Sport mode kind of was useless. More a little bit more aggressive than uh, drive, but it didn't really no big difference. But now, once you like slow down, you can break, and it actually pop. It brings the the thing up back to like 3,000, 4,000 RPM, which is freaking awesome. Now it's actually usable. When I slow down, I can actually use it like back to 30. Look at that, 3,000. And if I give it some, and if I let go of the gas, I know some of you that have 335s, y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's slow down. Watch. It's in fourth gear. Let me slow down. Let me push the brake. Boom. It jumps up again. <laughs> shit. Oh shit. That thing's badass, dude. It sounds crazy. The exhaust sounds crazy. Yo, the manual's so crisp. That sport mode is actually useful now, man. Before you used to brake, it used to do nothing at all. Like, you used to brake almost completely, and then it would drop all the way down to first gear again. So it was very unusable. I guess it was sportier in, in um, the top end when you used to floor it. It used to actually extend all the way to 6K, I guess, but... Jesus! Slow down. Jesus Christ. It's not even raining anymore. I'm just sensitive. But, um, yeah, guys, overall, right now, it's really, really nice. It's super nice. I'm not going to push it, obviously. I don't want to. I'm just, I don't want to freak up. I obviously tuned my mom's transmission as well. My mom's car is completely stock other than a... Uh, other than a charge pipe, VRSF metal charge pipe, but that's obviously not a performance mod, it's more of a uh, reliability mod. Obviously these charge pipes, M54s, M55s, I think even the B58s, they all come with charge, charge uh, plastic charge pipes. Beamer, Beamer code actually, you can actually code the transmission to be a sportier transmission. I coded my mom's as well, I did a 30 mile, 40 mile uh, uh, braking period, and yeah man, that thing rips now, I think pulls, bam, bam, bam. Uh, even the sport mode is actually a little bit, uh, nice you don't even need i don't think you really need xhp um to do that too now they hold you up well though. it feels nice but my mom's pro my mom's car right now we can't really be pushing it because it has a bad high pressure fuel pump but let me do one more little pull one more baby pull in sport mode like my hands gonna be right here i'm holding the, the camera look at that let me just give a little bit of gas shit for me please yeah these are very sporty boom all right now let's go let go of the gas Burbles are too loud though. Let me go over here. I'm not, I'm not touching the brakes or nothing. Boom. <laughs> oh shit, dude. The, yeah, you can feel like the, the body like push you forward. Alright, and the manual right quick. Well, 
launch fast. The launch control, I haven't even tried it. I don't even know how it works. Let me see. Turn off trash control. Thank you, turn off trash control. I'm about to figure out how to do traction. I mean, tra launch control. I'm sorry, but damn. Actually, guys, I'm just doing the second video. It's getting way too dark. I will show you a launch control and the before and after zero to 60 times in the second video if y'all really want that. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been. I'm gonna see you on the next video. Um, once it gets better, freaking weather, I'm gonna make another video. I just haven't posted in so long and I really wanted to post this XHP video. So I was like, man, let's just go out. Hopefully, tomorrow. Let me check tomorrow's weather, actually. Bro, so Monday, oh yeah. So as you can see the whole week tomorrow is gonna be really nice and sunny. Okay, so yeah guys, we'll make a video hopefully Monday tomorrow. Try to post this as soon as possible. I can post that as soon as possible. Yeah guys, she was doing good. I'm not gonna push it right now obviously, but yeah guys, I'll see you on the next one.